Oh, it's amazing just to finally have a, a race in my home state and where did I, you know, I grew up racing and road tripping on those roads with my parents. So I'm, I'm so excited just to finally showcase it to the world. It'll be good. I'm really excited to um, kind of show my Italian and European kind of more traditional cycling teammates, you know, what it's like in America and especially in my, my home state of Colorado. I'm really excited to do that. It's awesome that uh, the big tour is coming to Colorado and Colorado Springs. I've been waiting my entire career to have to showcase uh, my state, my home state of Colorado um, in a bike race. It's a extreme hotbed for cycling and you know for, for me specifically I'm obviously not originally from Colorado but it is my second home so while I won't take the claim over Timmy Dugan and those guys racing who are from Colorado it does kind of feel like home which gives a definitely a, a special feeling to do the race for me. I think, I think it's great for the U.S. I know that the, the Californians in May, so that conflicts with some things, but I know a lot of Europeans, I hear them talking, a lot of people want to come here. It's been a long time coming since Colorado had a big UCI level stage race that attracts the world's best riders and best teams. It's going to be exciting. Just to have another stage race here in America um, in a state like Colorado, which uh, has produced many uh, uh, successful professional uh, cyclists and amateur cyclists. A uh, great place to ride a bike. I think that uh, the, there'll be tons of fans out there. You know, in the tour, we don't. We don't encounter altitude for long periods of time. It's, it's short periods of time over a pass here and pass there, but Colorado, it's, it's all high. You start high, you go higher, and you finish high, no matter if you're going up or down. You know, one of the queen stages, the one from Gunnison up over Cottonwood Pass, up over Independence Pass, we're hitting 12,000 feet twice. Um, you know, your legs just feel like jello, yet your, your heart's pounding through your chest and you're breathing like, you know, you're, you're gasping for air. When you're suffering on a climb and when you're trying to get get oxygen you, you kind of gasp and, and uh, it's really unique you know at altitude different than, than sea level because you know once you get to your limit at altitude you can't come down. It's a challenge that people are going to face that they're not expecting and uh, those that are ready are going to are going to prevail and those that aren't are going to are going to suffer really bad. Who's ready to breathe through a straw already at 10,000 and above feet? I think the, the route of the USA Pro Cycling Challenge is, is really complicated. I think uh, every stage is very important. Most of the climbs start, you know, at a lower altitude in, in Europe, but in, whereas in Colorado we're starting at 6,000 feet, where the, that's usually the top of the climbs. That's the top of Alpe d'Huez. I believe it'll be probably the hardest stage race uh, we've ever done in America. It has the potential to be uh, that for sure. I think uh, any time that us Americans can race on home soil and, and especially uh, a race like Colorado where you're going to have long climbs, you know, we're going to be coming out of the Tour de France and going to Colorado and, and doing a lot of the, the same kind of riding that we're doing in the Tour, but yet here in America with the same peloton, it's, it's going to be fantastic. And I Racing in America um, makes it really special for, for, for us cyclists. Uh, being that we're away from, from home so much and we're racing in Europe most of the year, uh, coming back and doing stage races is very important to us and very very important to uh, be successful at them as well. You know, in, in Europe, these guys get the chance to race in their backyards, on their training roads all the time, you know, maybe three or four times a year. So, you know, 
your teammates racing on the road seat trains on all the time, and I never get to do that. So to get to do that this August at the, the Tour of Colorado is I'm really looking, looking forward to that. It's going to show outsiders like why it's no surprise that there, there's new pros coming out of this state because it's, it's the best state to, to be a cyclist in. And I think for, for the USA Pro Cycling Challenge, we've really got a, a spectacular backdrop for Colorado and for the race itself. I think the, the people that are going to be out there, the, you know, you hear cowbells everywhere you go and people screaming. I'm thrilled that it's finally happening and uh, just really honored to be a part of it. 60 miles an hour and one inch of rubber, the USA Pro Cycling Challenge.